Hello everyone. So welcome to Achieve Asada. If you are first time in this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Do not forget to hit a like button and please do share with your friends so that they will also get notification whenever I upload a video or uh, the live session. And do join in my Telegram group. Achieve Asada AA is my Telegram group name. Otherwise, you can go to the description and Telegram group name is visible. Just click on that link and join over there so that you will get all updates about the UGC net. So we are discussing top five questions of uh, UGC net paper one up, uh, after uh, three videos or four videos topic wise basis. Now we are in this session which is uh, UGC net paper one top five questions of mathematical aptitude. There is a one question which I asked as a homework in the last video. You can just see that is in third part I asked. So that answer whether you got it or not I don't know that prime number wala. So if you didn't get the answer now watch this video you will get the answer. Here. Daily at 5 p.m. in the Academy free platform, my free live sessions are going on for UGC net paper one. You can watch that. So here, uh, NTA UGC net PYQ series at an Academy. Let's crack NTA UGC net YouTube channel. I am taking live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 p.m. And moreover, guys, UGC net at JRF 2022 complete courses on paper one and paper two commerce. Full coverage will be there at an Academy Plus by me. And uh, uh, other educators also will be available for the paper to different different subjects and paper one also. So daily ATM commerce 7 p.m. Uh, paper one is going on. So use the invite code Shiva Live and get 10% off on the Academy Plus subscription if you want to take the subscription. So these are the plans which are available. I'll recommend you to go for either six months or twelve months subscription with these. Very less difference is there between them. So if you are taking iconic subscription, go for 24 months. Use the invite code Shiva Live and get 10% off. And not only that, your additional 10% discount will be there, which is from your, which is from your, uh, you can say, uh, learning credits, free learning credits. Let us get into the video. So this is what the question I asked as a homework in the last video. So find out the average of all prime numbers between this 70 to 90. First, what are the prime numbers between this 20 numbers? That is, uh, total 70 to 90, total 20 are there. In that 20 numbers, how many are prime numbers are available? Usually, average is equal to what? Sum of all number divided by sum of all numbers divided by number of observations or number of numbers simply. So, between 70 to 90, how many prime numbers are available? That is 71, 73, 79, 83, 89. Total 5 numbers are available. So, sum of all these is 395 divided by 5 numbers are available. So, 3 7s are 35 and uh, 3 9s are 45, which is 79 will come, but which is not available in any one of the option. You can look at 4 options are outrightly cancelled. So, this uh, uh, question got removed by NT and mark was awarded to all. But right answer is 79 is the correct answer. Question number 2. By selling a 33 liters of milk, one gains a selling price of 11 liters. Find the gain in percentage by selling 33 liters of milk. Selling uh, one gains a selling price of 11 items. So this is selling price, and here gain is equal to how much? 11 liters is a gain. Then cost price is equal, which is selling price minus gain is a cost price. That is 33 minus 11 will be equal to 33 minus 11 will be equal to 22 liters. 22 liters is a cost price. They are asking gain in percentage. So gain is how much? 11 liters is a gain. Gain percentage is equal to gain divided by cost price, which is gain equal to 11 liters divided by cost price is 22 liters into 100. So 11 ones are 11 twos are. 1 by 2 into 100 is nothing but 50 percentage should be the correct answer. That is option number B. All right. Next question number 24. If the cost price is 95 percentage of the selling price, then what is the profit in percentage? If the cost price is 95 percentage of the selling price, then what is the profit in percentage? So cost price is 95 percent of the selling price. Suppose if the selling price is equal to 100, then cost price will be equal to 95 percent of this means 95. Then what will be the gain? 5 rupees is a gain. So profit percentage is equal to profit that is 5 rupees divided by cost price which is 95 into 100 that will give you percentage. Pakka 
if it was 5 divided by 100, my answer should have been what? My answer should have been 5 1s are 5 2s are. 1 by 20 it must have been into 100. So, 20 5s are. So, it must have been a, uh, uh, the percentage would have been, I would say, 5 percentage it would have been. But here, 95 only there. 95 only there in the denominator means something extra than 5 percentage. That is only one and only one option is available. Something extra than 5 percentage is 5.26 is only available. Otherwise, you can directly calculate for that also. 5, 5, five ones are, so 5 ones are uh, 5 and uh, 45 will come 5 nines are. So, 1 by 19 which is uh, into 100, it will give you 5 point something will come that is 5.26 should be the correct answer which is nearby answer will come. Instead of 1 by 20, 1 by 19 is there. So, 1 by 19 is nothing but 5 point something which is only one option is available. 5 to pakka, but above the 5, how much it is? That is not important because only one option is available above the 5. Next, if someone sells an item at a cost of 1200 rupees with a loss of 25 percentage, Matlab this 20, uh, 1200 is equal 25 percent loss means this is equal to 75 percentage. At what cost he or she should have sold it to gain a profit of 30 percentage? So, this is loss of 25 percentage is 1200. Then gain of 30 percentage means 130. So, 1200 is for 75. Then how much it is for 130? How much it is for 130? That is how we need to get the answer. Then how much it will be? Let us try to calculate. So, it will be 325 za, 3 4 za, 5 5 za, 5 8 za. And 5 2 za, 10 and 3 0, 5 6 za, 26 into 8. 26 into 8, 48, 20, 208. So, 2080 it will come. Yes, it, it is there. 2080 will come, which is option number C is the correct answer. 2080 is there, which is option number C. All right. Next, this question you need to answer because this session is entirely dedicated for 5 questions of mathematical aptitude I completed. Now, I am giving a question of logical reasoning, first question to be starting in the next video that you need to answer now so that I will explain this question in the next video. Which of the following source of knowledge, which is Pramana in classical Indian philosophy, is based on similarity of the unobserved object with a known object? Unobserved object with a known object. So, what should be the correct answer out of the Pramanas? Thank you so much. We will meet in next video. Kindly do not forget to subscribe to this channel and do share with your friends. Do hit a like button, press the bell icon also. Do join in my telegram group and all the social media platform. You can follow me in an academy, learning app and in Instagram also you can follow. Thank you.